Welcome to the October edition of CISD Matters. Finally, I think fall's here. So shake it up, CISD 2018-19. I'm standing here in front of one of the entrances of our CTE Center that just opened at the beginning of the school year. We're gonna have some stories about our career technology and education facility, as well as talk about the opening of our academic wing in January and our Jeff Cody Arena, hopefully in May or by June. So sit back and enjoy this edition of CISD Matters. Hello, I'm Lanny Money. I'm the construction project manager for the new Cleburne High School. Today, we're gonna to show you some areas that have just opened up and some areas there in the middle of construction. Hi, I'm Mike Griffith. I teach manufacturing and electrical technology for the CTE department at Cleburne High School. You're in the recently opened manufacturing lab in the CTE department. The purpose of this lab is to teach our students the fundamentals and basics of industrial engineering, industrial maintenance, and manufacturing process. Behind me, you can see one of two stations for mechanical fabrication where students will learn to identify tools, identify different types of fasteners, build air hoses, build hydraulic hoses. What you're looking at here is one of two precision measurement systems that is designed to teach students to measure up to 40 thousandths of an inch using digital calipers, dial calipers, and micrometers. Lastly, we're gonna look at one of four machines that will help students design automated processes used in manufacturing, such as places like James Hardy Building Products, where they take raw materials, turn into a product, send them down the line, separate the rejects, and package and deliver the goods. As a teacher, I would like to personally thank all the taxpayers and the community who backed this bond issue that allow these students to have such an awesome place to work. My name is Dwayne Hoff. I teach information technology here at Cleburne High School. We're in the lab that was just created newly for our students here in order to perform computer maintenance and networking. The main three things that students learn in this program are how to repair computers, configure software, and networking. Luke is working on a tower and first year computer maintenance students work on projects every day in class. Uh, right now he has a stick of RAM that he's installing into this motherboard. We are very thankful to the community for supporting the bond program that has built this brand new IT computer lab. Students like Luke are direct recipients of your goodwill and support. Thank you. As you've driven down Nolan River, you've noticed the dramatic changes in the front of the building. This entry is the main entry of the new building. This building will open in January when the students come back from Christmas break. Now we're looking at the Jeff Cody Arena. Currently we're at the midpoint of construction. We start putting the concrete risers in, what most people would consider the steps. This arena is scheduled to open this summer. Thank you for your continued support. I look forward to bringing you more updates in the future. The Cleburne Education Foundation is a nonprofit organization whose goal is to seek and obtain contributions from the community to develop and expand educational opportunities for the students of Cleburne ISD. Find out firsthand how CEF is enhancing the learning in our district. I'm Justin Mulet, President of the Cleburne Education Foundation. Our mission statement is to enhance learning opportunities for students and teachers of Cleburne ISD. Our organization functions off the gifts and generosity of this community. 
We would like to thank the donors who support the students and teachers of Cleburne ISD. Next, you'll get a look inside of two classrooms at how grant materials are being used to enhance student learning. Hi, my name is Ramona Owen. I'm a third grade teacher teaching math and science at Coleman Elementary. Last school year, I received a Cleveland Education Foundation grant for a little over $2,400. With the grant funds, the district purchased for our classroom 50 sets of math literature books. You may be asking yourself, what is a math literature book? A math literature book teaches math to our students through real world experiences. A quick example is Slugger's Car Wash. In Slugger's Car Wash, a baseball team is trying to earn money to buy new uniforms before the playoffs. Through the story, our students are learning how to add money. Since receiving our books, my students have been using them almost daily, and I can tell a difference. I'm extremely grateful that my CEF grant application was selected. Thank you, Cleburne Education Foundation, for these books. You are helping me capture the minds and the hearts of my students. Hi, I'm Eric Peets, government and economics teacher at Cleburne High School, and last year I was the proud recipient of the Cleburne Education Foundation's Innovative Grant for $4,999. With the grant funds, Cleburne ISD purchased for me a 16-foot LED stock ticker. With this ticker, I'm able to use real-time information to interact with the kids in my classroom. As a U.S. government and economics teacher, this tool helps me to make what's going on in this world immediate and relevant in my classroom. So for instance, in economics, we use the stock ticker to be able to look at the ebbs and flows of how the stock market is doing. This gives the students an overall big picture of how the economy looks on a day-to-day -day basis. The ticker also gives me the ability to dialogue with my students whether it be the stock market or current events or even customizable information that I choose to put up there that I want to make sure we get to cover with the students. Because of this grant, you have given my students an opportunity that no other high school in Johnson County gets. In fact, this ticker is what you would find in most college finance labs on their campuses. And so for that, Cleburne Education Foundation, I want to say thank you for making my class come alive. We hope you have a better understanding now of what the Cleburne Education Foundation does to enhance the learning for our students and teachers of Cleburne ISD. Please check out our website to find out how you can partner with us. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this October edition of CISD Matters. And remember, go Jackets!